get an idea of the noise. Please make some noise. Some fun. Uh, this first, our first communion, and the way we did this, the students would we put, we put their names in a hat and we picked them at random. So that's the way to be fair of uh, what the order was tonight. And the first one is, uh, is please a huge hand for uh, first and the most amazing Monica Herberts, please. Give her a huge hand. By the time I count to three, one, two, kids scrambling to their seats. But I think the Latins nailed it with their warning and none. See, what are you supposed to see? <laughs> see, after being in a room full of kids all day long, some with special needs, others with ADD, and, just for fun, some with a special twisted sense of entitlement, like asking for the answers on tests and testing my patience to the max, I tell you. Well, let's just say that when I get home, I always have a headache. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I want none. <laughs> but if you want to, want to stay young at heart, teaching is a perfect profession. It's truly a calling. The kids call your name all day long. Miss <laughs> Hubbard, I have a little tooth. See? Miss Hubbard, I have to show you this new dance. Miss Hubbard, when's recess? When's lunch? When's gym time? Is it home time yet? Do we get art today? Miss Hubbard, Jimmy is crying. Why is Jimmy crying? Well, I, I buttered in line, but he hit me back. Uh-huh. I once had this kid come up to me and say, Miss Hubbard, Miss Hubbard, Miss Hubbard, I have a crack in my bum. <laughs> I looked at him and said, oh, that must be painful. And
and sent him back to his seat. <laughs> Daily, when I get home, my stomach aches from laughing so hard, remembering all the things that my students have said. And my outside may not look like it, but inside, I am totally ripped. <laughs> and I figure one day my outsides will catch up to my insides and turn this keg of mine into a totally decent six-pack. And I won't even need any string like some guys I know. <laughs> teacher voice and said, put her down. To my surprise, he complies. But next thing I know, King Kong Jr. looms up in front of me, arms crossed, daggers shooting out of his eyes. And I look up, way up, and I begin to laugh. See, this kid was trying to intimidate me. Well, he began to laugh too. And that's when the friendship started. Kirk would drop by my room every now and then, asking if he could help out. He even played Santa in the school play. Well, kids, today's lesson. <laughs> Sincerely smile. My moniker is Monica Hubbards and Scotty Zetrapa. <laughs>